Today we are going to demonstrate a really fun technique using a fountain pen and a brush, which I'm going to demonstrate, or a fine liner pen, which Tara is going to demonstrate later on. You'll also need some liquid. Now this is my favourite liquid. I prefer a beer actually, Tara, but what I actually meant was you will either need a container of water and a brush, or you'll need a water brush. Other brands are available. Cheers. So here I'm using a Lamy Safari pen with a broad nib, and I just love this pen. And of course it's got water-soluble uh, ink in it. It's a fountain pen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I really love it. And the first thing I'm doing here is I'm really just roughly indicating the shapes I see. And as you can see, I'm being really loose here because the less precious you are with the marks, the more energy the drawing will have in the end. So you didn't pencil this in first, did you? You went straight in in pen. Straight in with a pen. I find that sometimes if you go in with a pencil first, you can almost lose that initial, you know, looseness because you kind of already know where your mark's going to be. And as you can see, I've picked up the wrong brush there. <laughs> but I've dipped my little brush um, into the water. So why did you start with the bum? Have you got a bit of a thing going on there? <laughs> no. I don't know, it just, just happened that way. But uh, yeah, so I dip my brush in some water and I just start indicating the darkest shapes I see and shadows, but I don't overdo it. You need to really make sure you're looking at your subject and take note of the direction of the light. And as you can see, the water is drawing out the pigment from the pen lines and I'm just pulling them to where I need to go. So that, now I'm redefining those darker areas, the ones that have got a bit washed out after going in with the brush. I tell you, you've let it dry first. No, I, I didn't actually with this. I just carried on. It kind of dries quite quick anyway. Um, I'll pay a particular area to the darkest areas where, where the deepest shadows are. So, for instance, where different areas meet, like the underarm and things like that. But it's again, it's really important to leave out the lightest area of the white of the paper and I'm going back in again with the brush essentially this drawing process is so quick and so simple but really effective so as I say it's a great technique to use when you're drawing in a hurry or when you're out and about because you know you don't need anything more than a pen and some water So I like to use a fine liner pen. This is a paper mate flare, but anything water soluble will do. And a water brush, and that's great for quick sketches. So I can see you've put a timer on for yours. Why is that then? Yeah, I wanted to show how you can use this uh, technique for doing quick drawings. And I've actually picked a drawing that's quite complex as well, just to show how good it is for you know, this technique. Uh, and what I really like is you can be quite loose and it's quite forgiving as well. I don't know if you find this, this technique. So, you know, if I have to correct something and I've got, got a bit wrong, it's really easy to do that just, you know, with a bit of water. So I'm starting and just very loosely indicating shapes. You can see that's all I'm doing for windows is a few little rectangles, just very simple lines, indicating a few bricks. Um, and again, where I'm going to have sort of more darks, I've just put in a few more lines, like the shadow at the side is just a squiggle. And just keep building up like that. And it, it's all very simple at the moment, basically, because I haven't got time to do anything more complex than that. Sometimes I think drawings like this have more character in them anyway. Yeah, I think it gives it a bit of sort of movement. I know that's strange to say with a static thing, but it's sort of liveliness, isn't there, to it? Well, I think some sketches otherwise can be a bit laboured. And I think that's the beauty of this kind of technique, isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean, the only thing I think is that obviously it's not very accurate. So if you've got my, the image that I'm using as a reference, it's not perfect, but you're just trying to capture the essence of what is there. Yeah, that's what sketching's all about though, isn't it really? Now I'm just putting on a few extra bits just where there might be a bit more shadow and just really simply indicating a fence. So you're using one of those reservoir brushes, are you here? Yeah, I love these. These are so, so, so useful, especially if you're, you know, going out with sketching it. I was using it to draw people the other day. But I'm just now using this just very, very quickly. I haven't got much time left. So I'm just trying to put a sort of few darks on the roof uh, make that sort of a different colour, add in a few shallow shadows here and there. And you're leaving the white of the paper, aren't you, as the highlight? Yeah, highlights. leaving that as the edge. And I forgot to draw a chimney, so you can just literally pull up a bit of the pen and sort of draw that with the brush instead. Yeah. yeah. And look at that. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, Five minutes. Thank you. Five minutes. <laughs> it's very, very loose. But I say, I think it's perfect for things like that. Hot tell. Is it filming? Please read respect, please. Why not check out our previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss your Art Kick Sunday. Meanwhile, you can check out our podcast and find the creative challenges we have coming up at www.kickinthecreatives.com. Back soon.